Welcome back to Lucky Strike Tech. This channel is about to take one of the most massive leaps forward in terms of sound quality. And it's all thanks to my favorite partner, Fifine. Fifine? Fifine? Ah, Fifine. Honestly, these guys make some of the best mics, and we're gonna go over their newest edition, the AM8. Nope, not you, Volt 2. We'll get to you in another video. This microphone honestly surprised me as I unboxed it. You have to remember that this thing packs features like USB connection and XLR connection, RGB, that's controllable and you can turn it off, a quick mute button, and headphone monitoring, meaning there's a jack at the bottom. When I opened it up, the quality astounded me. I was honestly thinking to myself, they're only selling this for $50 because I could see any company selling this for $100 or more. And the funny thing is, those mics won't sound half as good as this one does. This is a dynamic microphone, so you are gonna be speaking into the front of it, kind of directly, which I'll show example on the screen right now, instead of the side of it where the dials are and everything, like you do in a condenser microphone. And it does come with a stand. Though, they do recommend don't use a stand with it. You really should be using a boom arm because of the angle you need it at, it's not gonna really fit your desk very well with the size and where all the cables go. There's really nowhere to put it in front of a keyboard and a mouse. As we mentioned earlier, on the bottom, you can see there's USB-C, headphone monitoring, and XLR. And this white ring is where the RGB comes through. On the front, or maybe back, kinda depends. You'll notice you have the gain for the microphone input and the headphone monitoring level. Talking purely about build quality, it does have that same fine matte plastic kind of feel, which it is kind of iconic because it is a nice premium material. It has super nice RGB effects in the form of this ring at the bottom, which you can toggle through many different options or long press to turn it off, and a quick mute in the side, which all you have to do is tap it really quick and you can see the icon turns red and green. Well, it's time to say goodbye to my Ampli Game A8. But wait, what about all the memories? Time to say goodnight. <laughs> It does give you a better presence overall in your desk setup. It looks nicer, it's more professional feeling, and it doesn't scream budget even though it technically is. It screwed on nicely to the stand without any issues whatsoever, and the extra flexibility that came with the microphone from the stand is really nice because you can get really any angle you want for your setup, so it's not blocking your view while you're gaming, or you can position it right perfectly in your mouth, which is why I think they say use this with a boom arm rather than a stand. All right, so let's get into the connection types. It uses USB-C, and XLR. You can use them at the same time and also interchange them, though the instructions do indicate you need to put in the XLR first if that's your intention and then the USB-C or vice versa. So here's a couple notes about the connection types. If you're using this only with XLR, the mute function and RGB and the dials for gain on the microphone themselves do not work. You know, most people would assume that's the case, but you can use both connections at the same time. So I plugged in USB-C in order to get the RGB to turn on but both options are viable for audio recording. Make sure to stick around at the end of the video to hear the sound comparisons. Thank you, bye. So while Fifine has a great reputation for making amazing microphones for the price, I feel like this microphone hasn't really hit the market yet. It's still sort of unknown since it's newer, and people don't realize the leap forward sound quality is about to hit once things like this get more prevalent on the market. This really is the new generation. If you have a basic desk setup and you're using USB microphones, but you plan on going to XLR in the future for a podcast or maybe you're starting a YouTube channel, this has you covered and it's scalable. So you can scale up to higher end equipment with like an interface. Let's talk specs for just a moment because I don't think we covered that quite yet. It does come with a USB-C cable. It's compatible with PS4, PS5 and Mac and Windows. Of course, not your Xbox. Xbox always has that required plug in the controller, which I think they need to overcome that somehow. Anyway, it's probably the best sounding microphone on the market for this price range. It does have an operating frequency response of 50 Hertz to 16 kilohertz. It does advertise noise reduction in this as well, and I think that's accurate with all 500 microphones. They probably do the best out of anyone I've seen. And it's super lightweight, weighing only about a kilogram. Comparing this to something like the K688, I don't have it on hand, but I think that this is probably the newest and best version of that microphone with just a different design. And I'm not sure what they make their microphones out of exactly, but whatever they're doing, they're doing it just right. Wow, I said let's talk about specs, but I really didn't have much to say. I wish I was more professional, like Linus Tech Tips, of course they have millions of dollars. Let's just leave it up to them to really break it down and talk about what makes this microphone special. I think Fifine is one of those special rare cases where USB can sound just as good as XLR, but again, Let's get into the sound test and let's figure that out together and break down what we think. We're gonna be comparing the Fifine AM8 to two other microphones which have stood out from the rest. The Fifine Amplicam A8 to see if there's any difference between Fifine's condenser and dynamic microphones and the Zeal Sound K66, another great budget USB microphone. We'll also compare the USB-C connection to the XLR connection using the Volt 2 interface. Uh, by the way, the Volt 2 interface is a major, major deal to me. It sounds amazing and it's 
probably the best I think in the price range. I'll only have a few short samples of each sound and show them in a way that will make it easier to compare and maybe even watch back. So let's get started. Full disclosure that I am using OBS to capture all this audio and all the filters built in OBS Music Studio. That's because when recording through an XLR interface, you have to be able to set your mic input to mono. And not all video recording software lets you do that. If you want a full tutorial on how to set this up, I'll be dropping a short on my channel. This is the Fifine AmpliGame AM8, and this is what it sounds like with no effects or compressor through its XLR connection. This is the Fifine AmpliGame AM8, and this is what it sounds like with a compressor, expander, and mixer through its XLR connection. This is the Fifine AmpliGame AM8, and this is what it sounds like with no effects or compressor through its USB-C connection. This is the Fifine AmpliGame AM8, and this is what it sounds like with a compressor, expander, and mixer through its USB-C connection. This is the Fifine AmpliGame A8, and this is what it sounds like with no effects or compressor using a USB-C connection. This is the Fifine AmpliGame A8, and this is what it sounds like with a compressor, expander, and mixer using a USB-C connection. This is the Zeal Sound K66, and this is what it sounds like with no effects or compressor using USB-C connection. This is the Zeal Sound K66, and this is what it sounds like with a compressor, expander, and mixer using a USB-C connection. So what does this mean for the budget microphone scene? Well, it means having great sound is more accessible than ever to everyone. And competition sure is tough for those making microphones with Fifine sticking around. Thanks for watching Lucky Strike Tech. I hope you liked the video. If you want to check out the microphone down below, I'll leave a link in the description. And it does help out the channel if you pick one up. I think you can't go wrong with this. I think this is the new GOAT. I got several more microphones lined up though, so if you want to check those out, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be doing a roundup here soon. Along with something very special I don't think many people have seen. I'll give you a hint, it's RGB, but it's somewhere you don't expect it. Thanks for watching.